Kalyan Karnataka, there are various numbers of departments which we know. I don't want to comment on that. But you will order inquiries and you will make sure that things can come I, out? See, I, see, we have to give justice. We have to give justice to the people of Karnataka. That is very much important. People have relayed on us. We have to do our job. Otherwise, we can't fulfill this guarantee. Now, on the other hand, in face of such strong allegations, former Karnataka Chief Minister Baswaraj Bhuma, in an exclusive conversation to Mirana, welcomed the inquiry and pleaded that the progress of Kalyana Karnataka shouldn't stop. Listen in. Let them do any inquiry in any department. It's most welcome. Now, as far as Kalyan Karnataka is concerned, we have just sanctioned 3,000 crores. And I don't think all 3,000 crores has been spent or neither it is billed. Let them do that inquiry also, whatever inquiry. But my only one concern is they should not do witch hunting. They should not stop the progress of Kalyan Karnataka. Congress was giving 1,000, 1,500. I increased to 3,000 crores so that Kalyan Karnataka infrastructure, basic needs of the people, education, health, sanitary, everything, and uh, malnutrition, these are the huge concerns uh, which we dealt with. I don't want these human development and uh, public infrastructure work should not be stopped. That is number one. Number two, there should not be witch hunting. Number three, there should not be any reallocation, which the allocations we have made for particular uh, sector and particular taluka. Hmm. On the other hand, after Karnataka Chief Minister Siddha Ramaya said hate politics would not be tolerated and about punishment against those who stoke communal rights, Education Minister Madhu Bangarappa, in an exclusive with Mirror Now, said saffronization of education is the biggest crime. On RSS founder Hegdevar's speech being included as a lesson in textbooks by the earlier BJP government, Bangarappa said whatever is emotional and isn't needed for children will be looked into. Now, Siddharamaya had earlier said that the education sector will not be allowed to be adulterated. Let's listen into that conversation. We saw last year that when, you know, the BJP, in fact, brought in some changes to the textbooks, there was a huge hue and cry about this. The Congress had protested, uh, you know, over the inclusion of text of Mr. Hegdevar. What is the plan right now going forward? Is there a plan to review the textbook content at all? Uh, since I'm already a manifesto, uh, Vice Chairman in that manifesto committee, uh, we have very clearly mentioned that, uh, you know, textbook, whatever we have to recorrect it or whatever it is, we are going to do it if necessity, which is which looks like uh, there is a necessity. See the technicality of how, how we have to go to get, uh, going to get address, uh, we are going to address the uh, issues as far as the textbook changes are also are concerned. Okay. So this is in the already preliminary, uh, this thing. Hmm. I think it will take some time, but we are going to do it as early as possible so that people, uh, the children are not affected okay. in their education. So when you say there are some necessary changes that need to be brought in, <clears throat> what portion of the contents are you particularly looking at? Because because, yeah. uh, and I, I will not uh, exactly get into the more details, which, will, which you will know whenever it is changed uh, very well. But we are going to keep in the interest of children's mm -hmm. education in their few, for their future. Mm -hmm. Whatever is necessary will be there and whatever is not necessary. Emotional activities, which is going to give the hurdle, uh, you know, which is going to uh, hurt them, uh, you know, for their uh, uh, future, mm -hmm. uh, that will be taken out. The educationists in the state of Karnataka have often accused the, you know, changing governments, whether it's the BJP or the Congress, mm -hmm. of bringing in text and textbook which favor the agenda of the party. Now, for example, during the BJP's tenure, when the whole Hegdever controversy had broken out, educationists had, you know, slammed the government then and raised questions about why this is being included. So right now, even back then, the Congress had protested about this. So are we looking at, you know, some texts, of course, being changed, uh, changed over here? Because parties, whichever come into power, go on to defend it, saying, you know, we are correcting history. See, getting into saffronizing the whole system, not only the governance, the administration and now into the children's. I think it's the biggest crime what anybody will be doing. So we are not going to allow that uh, thing to happen. That feeler is there, already that feeling is there. We want to come, to, come out of that and even I want, we want children's also to come out of uh, that whole this thing. And we did protest those days uh, that, uh, you know, whatever they had done was wrong uh, in the interest of uh, uh, children's. And if it uh, is worth taking it out, I think uh, they will do it and a professional team will be doing, which under the guidances of our uh, chief ministers are also, I think we are going to do that.